Ooh, orange peels. Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath its skin like fireworks in mm -hmm, the setting sun? Mm -hmm, yep. The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. I feel like Trevor really ruined everything, didn't he? But also, just because an orange is juicy doesn't mean it tastes nice. I had one. I once had an, a really juicy orange. It's horrible. It's either really sour or it has no flavor. It's rare that a really juicy. Well, for me anyway, it's rare that a really juicy orange tastes sweet. I don't know. Kelsey took me night swimming in Mr. Jones's pool. I was scared oh, for the in the first time, but ah, two beers and freshly picked oranges, chill. Best nights ever. All right. Q, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, open drawer. Home Mr. invaders. And Marie were robbed in their own house. <gasps> Not long after we met at Food Rescue. He was stabbed. Almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches, concussion. She still had headaches, she said. Oh, wow. So that, so that is these two, isn't it? Yeah. Crazy. Lots of uh, lots of robberies, huh? Just stop. Why do you keep writing this rubbish? I know there isn't much news in Orange Grove, but it's been ages. Not literally, but you know. They are never going to find them. I wish everyone would just stop. Leave us alone so I can forget the whole night. Some think my dad was a hero for trying to stop them. Truth is, we never saw them coming. When that guy jumped and stabbed my dad, something snapped and I would have punched him, scratched his eyes out. I swear, I think I could have killed him, but the other one got to me before I even knew there were two. I never saw their faces, neither did my dad, so they never caught them. I'm not fearless. Oh, so her dad is the one that got stabbed. Hmm. I bet it was Trevor. Trevor sounds like a guy who'd do that. Do you think there's a, there's a limit on how many passes you can put in? No. Damn, what's the password again? 33% charged. Torres Wi-Fi. July 7th, 2018. Hold up. <laughs> this is in the future. Oh my god. Crazy. I'm living in the past right now. This is like three months into the future. <gasps> What's this? It's an orange. Smoking jar. Excuse me? The world someday. Concerts. Vin that's for her record player i mean if you're living three months ahead of me you should download your music that's like everyone pirate she hated my cigarettes every time i felt like going out and buying a pack she made me put the money in that money jar <laughs> one day that money would pay for our gas to drive to college we only needed money for the one way i ended up using it to get to vancouver oh you wasted her money stone oh is that the one she threw through the <laughs> yeah I didn't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. Hmm. <laughs> well, I think I would. Uh, I wouldn't keep a stone. No, never mind. <laughs> I, if someone threw a stone through my window and broke it, I'd get the stone and throw it at their head. Wouldn't keep it though. If they broke it and ran off, I'd keep it just so when I see them again. <laughs> They know what's coming. Oh, here we go. February 16th, 2018. Okay, I've calmed down a bit. The Lala night, she was with Trevor and he is such uh, a bad guy. She's different from when she's around him. Not that it makes it all right, but she did come straight over to tell me she was sorry. She knows she was wrong. Broke my window with that stupid rock. She said if I'd answer the call of the pebbles, she <laughs> wouldn't have thrown the rock. She's been here ever since, doesn't have anywhere else to go really, except for Trevor. I'm glad she'd rather sleep here. Right now, as I write this, she's on the bed going over some notes from class. I like having her here, and Dad's okay with it. So pretty much it's two friends, and then as soon as this girl that I am met Trevor, everything went bad, and they sh Marie tried to stop her from being a bad person. No, Trevor was a bad guy. He made her bad, and that's Marie about it. insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Marie's an idiot. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. Okay. Cool story, bro. Ooh, ripped shirt. Hello. Trevor. What an asshole. 
After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Wow, okay. Kelsey broke up with Trevor, finally. She can do so much better than that total loser. He assaulted her in the school hallway. Of course, no one saw it happen, but he literally tore her clothes from her body. Damn. But she's done with him now. Things can only get better. Oh, so you think? Until Trevor comes back and starts stabbing everyone. Ooh, hello. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. <laughs> but I got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Okay. So she worked hard. Oh my god, they put me on Kelsey's team. My heart races and I stop to think about it. Don't think she'll be all that pleased though. I wonder whether she remembers me from Food Rescue. God, I hope not. I feel so connected to her. Isn't that weird? I'd love for us to be friends. She's just amazing. Can't wait to start working on our science project. Did you get that? Our project. I feel like I'm going to explode from excitement. You know, I'm getting vibes that Marie is a bit, a little bit weird. You know, just, just a little bit. Bike basket. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. Oh, is Marie dead? Probably. So I bet, I bet Trevor killed Marie. Uh, uh, Trevor's a creep, man. Ooh, here's one. Took me forever to convince Kelsey to ride a bike because it ain't cool. Our rides are the best part of the day now. And on this day, we rode through Mr. Jones's orange grove in broad daylight. We got home with a basket full of the juiciest golden oranges. I don't even think about getting caught. Wow, <laughs> they just keep stealing his fruit. I bet he's been growing them for years. Then he comes out like, oh, finally, after all this time, I get to pick my orange. What happened to my oranges? <laughs> and then there's nothing left on his trees. And just imagine if that was how he made a living. Just because he's retired, he just sells oranges. <laughs> he goes outside and they're all empty. <laughs> oh, that's, I don't know. That would be, that's horrible. Don't do that. Rubik's Cube. Hated that thing. Okay. <laughs> Good, nice, thanks for the input. Sparkly shoes. He had money. You see? He bought me things. I was going to wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? Very. At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. But now you know where they're coming from. So I think what we should do, right, is just find all the clues and then read the journal. That way we'll have a story. Oh, hello. She asked me why I was so angry mm -hmm. all the time. And a new deal. I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt. Any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. Yeah. But Marie, my friend Marie, she got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what that means. Not going to lie. Let's see the doormat. I am not I'm a, not shadow, a person. shadow person. Yeah. It took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. What does that even mean? Honestly, does it, does anyone even know what that means? Are they just making stuff up now? I'm not a shadow person. I'm a man of the light. But that's uh, that's code for like I'm not a vampire. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Hmm. Oh yeah. Well, I go shopping whenever I want. Let's so take that. We have a case on our hands. I need to find the key. A five figure number. Wait, what's this? Don't pick up this number. Let's see who's on the phone. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. Oh I no. I blamed her for everything. Though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Hmm. <laughs> Wake me up when I'm famous. Listen, you're not going to get famous just by sleeping. All right. Right, let's check the journal. Oh, those sparkly shoes. She wears them all the time. Last night, the heels dug into my calf and that hurt. Have you seen those heels? 
So I yanked them off her feet and told her not in the bed. She was amused. I can't think why. To be honest, I wish she, I was a size 9 because they look absolutely gorgeous on Kelsey's feet at least. When I tried them on, I looked like a girl trying on mommy's shoes. <laughs> size 9. Wow. She called me her friend today. I am not a shadow person anymore. She's my friend. Oh, shadow person. I assume someone who's nobody notices her. Mm. Kelsey's so angry at the world, like, all the time. It's kind of annoying, but I get it. We're, we all have a different story to tell. So as a friend, I did the only decent thing. I told her she could do anything she wanted. She just had to make it happen, not wait for it. I told her to deal again. Not drugs, the cards. Ooh, so she was doing drugs. So they broke up, and then I think he's crazy. He keeps calling me at the most impossible hours just to yell at me, calling me names, threatening me. That if I didn't let Kelsey go, he'll do this or that. As if I got her tied up in here. Now I unplug my phone when I go to sleep. Hmm. I did it. I hope I'm not going to regret this. What did you do? <laughs> what did you do? That's the biggest question here. Ooh, here's some sheets of paper. What's that? 4th of March. That's Maria's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. <laughs> All right, I might have been a little jealous. You sounded jealous. I was going to say, why is she so angry? <laughs> wow, this girl's horrible. She's a horrible person. Super duper horrible. Oh, here's a name badge. Marie Torres. Yeah, it was a good place to be. Until Marie showed up. What? I know she didn't mean anything. <laughs> pity in her Seriously. Eyes. Worse than being hungry. Horrible. Horrible person. Let's check. We had a party today celebrated, celebrating three years of food rescue. Everyone was there. All those happy familiar faces. Loved it. Kelsey came in. I never took her for one of the hungry. I don't think she knows my name but everyone knows hers. She's gorgeous. It surprised me is all. I could see the shame in her eyes when she had to accept the bag of groceries from me. Still I couldn't take my eyes off her. If this world allows someone like Kelsey Jackson to be hungry, it must be everywhere. So I'm going to fight it with everything I've got. She seemed like such a nice person trying to help people. And then mm, Kelsey's all horrible and not a nice person at all. She once asked me, don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, no, I never I sleep. Don't. I don't dream. I plan. What I didn't tell blah, blah, blah. her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans she sounds so hostile you know what marie is toxic no kelsey is so toxic she's a toxic person i have a dream <laughs> nice he looks like the simpson guy bart simpson <laughs> just because of the way she's drawn him but yeah kelsey is like one of those people that um they like watching other people get hurt you know Oh my god, a shadow person. I'm not a shadow. Wait. Shadow. Damn, what's the password again? I need to find it. <gasps> yes! I, I wrote shadow person. Perfect. That was amazing. I just randomly thought, hey, that's what she was writing, isn't it? Can we, can we watch a YouTube? Can I watch my own video on here? Kitten.gif. Amazing. I'm on a computer on a computer. Let's check her emails. Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? If they had, none of this would have happened, and no one would have died. Hi Marie, grieves me to hear... Wait, who is this? Harassment by fellow student. I bet that's from Trevor. Wait, Trevor? Oh no. Why didn't you tell me, Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. Oh no, so Trevor's taking pictures of... That's Marie and her dad. Oh my god. Alright. Hi Marie. This is from Mr. Phillips. Don't know. I think that's the headmaster. It grieves you to hear that this is how you feel. But I'm afraid there's not much I can do at this stage. I understand that you are alarmed and feel unsafe. But Trevor has not broken any school laws. Nor has he hurt anyone. I'd like to invite you and Trevor into my office. To see if we can start up a conversation between the two of you. Why do people do that? No. That's not what you do. You don't want the person who you're scared of. To, to know that you've been talking about them you don't do that this guy's an idiot let me know when you're ready to talk you know where to find me this guy is so dumb this guy needs to 
No, I was going to say kill himself, but <laughs> probably don't do that. Let's see. It One day, I just had to know. What's up with all the cats? She said she admired them. That they were who they were without any pretense. That they had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. She was a furry. That's it. We're the game's over. See you guys. I was going to say, what's up with all the cats? And uh, my cat is when missing. Bumblebee went missing. Marie cried for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. My gosh. Marie's life went, went bad because of Kelsey. Marie. Excuse what me? What were you thinking? <laughs> you know that's illegal. <laughs> Damn, yeah, so is killing people. Trevor. Interesting. She was looking on the internet for a cartoon gun. What's wrong with this gun? <laughs> it looks like it. it looks like it like it, it's like when you break a leg and it and it's like sideways a little bit. That's what the gun looks like. And there's no option to turn the t tabs off. How do I check your history, Marie? Alright, so that's that. Um I can't change the internet or anything, so here we go. Hmm. Oh, Bumblebee, that was her cat. Interesting. Yeah, I'll read the journal completely when, when I've finished finding all the clues. That would be better. I love how she grew by pretty much the same amount every time, every year. Hmm. I, I don't think anyone's done it by year. Everyone's been doing it by a few months. That's what I did anyway. That's what I've seen other people do. Ooh, beer bottle. Mr. Torres loved that beer. After the robbery, he only had a couple left. Woo! Apparently, they Whoosh. were hard to come by. Whoosh. Still, we Whoosh. decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. All that happened later that night, I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. Okay. Whatever. Don't care. I just need this code, man. Oh my god, I thought the, I thought the beard disappeared. I was like, oh my god. There are spirits at work here. But it wasn't it's just my field of view. Have I mean, is there anyone whose room is actually this many stuff on the wall? I mean, I've I've never had this many stuff on the wall. I mean, the most I have is a picture above my head, and that's it. Today was a good day. Only five emails from Trevor. Only five. Wow. Hope is getting it. She's not coming back. He really holds me responsible for it. I can handle that if it keeps him away from her. When I saw him in the hallway this morning, he slid his fingers across his throat again. If he wasn't such a scary clown, I'd laugh. But he does scare me. I don't tell Kelsey these things. She would worry. They're not listening. I've tried every authority at school. I even tried the cops, so they just patted my shoulder. Poor little girl, still traumatized. Bump on the head didn't do any good. Yes, I'm swearing now. A jar full of candy. What should I do? I, I wish I could tell Kelsey, but she'd go insane and, tell her and hurt herself. And get herself hurt or worse. Go back to him. Trevor is dangerous. I know it's him and there's nothing I can do. They never believe me. Don't think I I don't think I'll ever see Bumblebee again. I can't sit and watch this. I'll have to be fearless. I found this site when you where you can buy guns off anyone. Not that I mean to shoot anyone, it's just I don't know what to do anymore. It's for my protection, you know. It's true. I mean if you go to everyone and everyone says, eh, shut up. Then <laughs> I mean there's nothing much you can do. Isn't that what they say? Anyway, there was this guy who wanted to sell me this totally new 9 millimeter. I'm waiting. I'm meeting him out of town somewhere. A little shady, I admit. But with Trevor looking around, I'll take my chances. Ooh. Oh, she went to California. Look at that. I love cats because they're not afraid to be difficult. Oh, oh there's another card. Look at that. <laughs> green eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I'm never eating <laughs> lasagna ever again. But some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. Okay. Well, I guess he was a chef. Well, here's some keys. Yeah. Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys so I'd feel at home. Oh, it's for Marie's I loved house. Him for it. But every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. So Marie's dad, no, he got stabbed, he didn't die, did he? 
Oh, the yeah. journal. It might be in. Okay, let's let's go check the journal. Okay, I figured it out. I figured it out. Here we go. It's it's three, and then where is it? Four, nine, and then five, one, three, four, nine, five, one. My gosh, that was rough. That took ages. It actually took ages. Three, uh, four, nine, five, one. Boom. Kelsey. Wait, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> she got a gun. Nice. That looks like a good gun. Like the future is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawking said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. Mm. It was definite as hell. Sometimes oh, I didn't wow. get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time. And she was ruining it. So I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool. And he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me. But still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized... It was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped, because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Tom. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration, no, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house, and we got caught by Mr. Torres, but I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. She's got a lot of excuses, it, huh? And I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and...
What you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. Wow, that actually gave me goosebumps. Oh my god, that's that's a lot. What happened? Where, where's the phone? Oh, she's packing the stuff away. Where's the phone? I love how she said, I didn't smash Marie's head in. It's just, I smacked her. <laughs> I just smashed her head to stop her from seeing me. It's it's completely different. <laughs> I mean, she still smashed the head in, didn't she? Oh, hold to answer the phone. Okay. Down Excuse me? Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking like forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. Aunt Marie? Sweet. Are they sisters? No. I don't know, how is she the odd Marie? Of course I knew it was her. Who Kelsey. else? There's only one thing to do. Get to Marie. Wow. Press J. I regret food rescue, I regret the science project, I regret it all. My father could have died because of me and my inability to pick real friends. Kelsey never Kelsey never was who she said she was. I never really knew her, it turned out. It's all been And I am so stupid I should have realized that it at Lala night and walked away for good. But someone died right in this room. I made him die. I pulled the trigger, made a bullet pierce in pierce his head. Made his blood, blood soak the carpet, drip through the cracks into the floor where it will remain forever to be a witness to what I'm capable of. I can't stay here. Am I the same me? I don't know. I have to fix this. Fix me. Away from her, I have to focus on the positives in my life and stop questioning myself. What did she, Why did she do it? Why did I do it? Did I deserve this? Am I an evil person? A killer? I shot him in the head for Christ's sake. I could have gone for his leg. Dad calls them intrusive thoughts. I say they're the truth. I'm stronger than I look. I can do this. I'll go up north to Uncle George, as Dad suggested. Nice and cool up there. I'll be able to think and finish high school. I'm leaving this journal here because I need a clean slate and fresh pages. I'm sorry. Dear diary, maybe I'll send for you someday when all of this is long over and I've dealt with being a murderer. Wow, so Marie tried to be Kelsey's friend for so long and Kelsey messed her up. California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. Shut up, Kelsey. You know, I don't I'm not gonna lie, I don't like Kelsey. She's she's so rude. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. How about you go in the bathroom and Slap yourself or something. You're you're a, you're a horrible per a horrible person. Honestly, Marie was the only nice one. Why is it Aunt Marie though? I don't understand. Oh, you know what? That was a good game. I mean, it wasn't much of a game. It was more like a story. But um, um, I liked I liked how it was set out. I mean, I'm not I wasn't a fan of all the puzzles and stuff. I like the way it was told. But the problem is, since it wasn't chronological, you had to um, go back and read everything again. Um, I understand what happened. I mean, I'm sure, I hope you guys get the gist of what happened in terms of the diary. And uh, basically, if you didn't, Marie was working in a food truck. And then she saw Kelsey, and so she gave her food and stuff. And then, uh, and then they met in school or something. And then they worked on the same project together. And then they were friends, and then Kelsey started going out with Trevor. Marie didn't like that at all. And then, um, and then when they started going to the pool and stuff like that, they knew Trevor was follow. She knew Marie knew Trevor was following her, and uh, when Marie told Kelsey at the pool that someone was following them, she said some rude stuff. So then Marie came back, and then Kelsey threw rocks in her room and broke the window, saying she was she was sorry, and um, 
then Trevor came in and then she killed her. So Trevor and Kelsey robbed Marie's house. Kelsey hit Marie over the head with a baseball bat and Trevor almost killed the dad. That's mad. And then when Trevor tried to hurt the Marie, Marie shot him to death. This is good. That's good. I like the ending. That's nice. But Kelsey, damn. Horrible person. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate her so much. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed the Let's Play of Marie's Room. It's a great game. Uh, nice storyline and stuff like that. Not too long. About an hour. So, um, yeah. And you guys, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. My Perfect Lion. And I'll see you guys later.